The Irishman and the Lady by William McGinn. Read for LibriVox.org by DailyBab. There was a lady lived at Leith, a lady very stylish, man. And yet, in spite of all her teeth, she fell in love with an Irishman. A nasty, ugly Irishman. A wild, tremendous Irishman. A tearing, swearing, thumping, bumping, ranting, roaring Irishman. His face was no ways beautiful, for with smallpox t'was scarred across, and the shoulders of the ugly dog were almost double a yard across. Oh, the lump of an Irishman, the whiskey-devouring Irishman, the great he-rogue with his wonderful brogue, the fighting, rioting Irishman. One of his eyes was bottle-green, and the other eye was out, my dear, and the calves of his wicked-looking legs were more than two feet about, my dear. Oh, the great big Irishman, the rattling, battling Irishman, the stamping, ramping, swaggering, staggering, leathering swash of an Irishman. He took so much of Lundy foot that he used to snort and snuffle, oh, and in the shape and size of the fellow's neck was as bad as the neck of a buffalo. Oh, the horrible Irishman, the thundering, blundering Irishman, the slashing, dashing, smashing, lashing, thrashing, hashing Irishman. His name was a terrible name indeed, being Timothy Thaddy Mulligan, and whenever he emptied his tumbler of punch, he'd not rest until he'd filled it full again. The boozing, bruising Irishman, the toxicated Irishman, the whiskey, frisky, rummy, gummy, brandy, no dandy Irishman. This was the lad that the lady loved, like all the girls of quality, and he broke the skulls of the men of Leith just by the way of jollity. Oh, the leathering Irishman, the barbarous, savage Irishman, the hearts of the maids and the gentlemen's heads were bothered, I'm sure, by this Irishman. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.